He's all right. So, decided to make a wee video about Dark Elder conversions because you'd actually be surprised that there's this fuck all on the internet about this. Like, the only other part people that I can find is Craig over in Kibram. He, he's got some pretty good conversion videos, but by that, there actually is. There's, there's not really much to work with. Like, you know, okay, I get it. Not like, you know, Dark Elder are a very small army. We don't have many good alternative models. Um, we, although I do have some that I will show you. Um, there's just not really that much for us to work with. Like, you know, although I think one of our best assets to work with has to be the Dark Elf, the Dark Elf models. Um, see the old Warhammer Fantasy line? It works so well. Everything, I think, um, particularly the Corsairs, that their Black Art Corsairs, amazing. Um, particularly good for kind of like tweet board and the like. But um, no, I really, I've got a, I've got myself a bit of a slideshow here where I'm gonna show you some of my own personal, like you know, conversions and alternative models, and I'm just gonna talk over them and explain what they are and what they do. Um, I'm sorry to say, but you're gonna have to forgive me. But um, you'll find out I'm actually not that good at painting. No, I'm pretty shit. To be honest with you, I I paint a tabletop standard, but um, when it comes to the actual looking nice when you have a nice like you know close up photo. Um, sorry, I mate, mean, it looks like dog shit. Also, it's a wee bit dusty. I don't get to play as much as I would like to say that I do. Um, I've only had a few games of eighth edition at this moment in time, but I've been really enjoying it so far. But anyway, anyway, look, let me get into the slideshow and I'll start talking about, well, I'll start with some of the more common uh, conversions that you'll see in, like, you know, there's one big one that in everyone, like, if you play Dark Elder, you've seen this conversion either on the internet or you have it yourself. And there's very, very, very few people that genuinely don't have this and, of course, grotesques. Oh, um see like you know the actual model the that uh, doesn't work there's the, the one fucking shitty ass like you know that no no i'm not happy with that they give me some plastic good tests that and also another big one that i've seen a quite a bit of recently since eighth edition came out is the uh laser wing flock now sorry for rambling but i think there are two main ones that people are interested in so without further ado let's get into the slideshow well i see we've got a storm fiend and a lad ogre and look this is the most common dark elder conversion you're ever going to come across because grotesques okay the um back in eighth uh, back in seventh edition we still had the uh coven book with the grotesquely absolutely amazing possibly our best best uh formation that we had it was amazing so good it was so strong hit like a ton of shit now in eighth edition grotesques are still up there, I wouldn't say as strong as what they used to be, but they're still fucking, they still hit like a ton of shit, you know what I mean? Um, very good, okay, so I'll tell you how this conversion is. So, as you can see, on the right hand side is a Storm Fiend from the Skaven, um, Skaven line from Age of Sigmar. It's, uh, it's all I've done is quite literally cut the head off. Get a bit of green stuff and put a Talos head on top. That is it. You know, there's really not much work to be put into this. And I think it looks pretty good. Like, you know, um, I've seen better ones with people who've added more Talos bits to them. And um, it's more about, oh, well, you see what you can do. You know what I mean? But I would definitely recommend the uh, Storm Fiend. And then uh, on the left-hand side here, we have some Alad uh, Ogre. Again, just some towel spits thrown onto the side of them. Um, the Lad Ogre, you got this one particular, this particular model came from the last Warhammer Fantasy starter set box set, I believe. Um, they don't do it anymore, but I'm sure you'll be able to find um, eBay. There should be tons of them. Um, although, uh, let me just move on to the next picture. Uh, of course, is the is the um cryptor and this here one is another very basic one that i'm sure a lot of you have seen they're quite cheap like you know see um even like you know this here would be by far the most common one just saying you will see 
ton of people using cryptors as glue tasks and it does work just uh, just as well it's the cheapest option if you want uh, good looking glue tests they're slightly bigger well they're not slightly bigger they're about the same size but a wee tiny tiny bit bigger than uh, the actual uh, glue task model but no I think they look good and uh, there is the glue tasks there is some more glue task conversions out there but them three are the most common by far if you yourself has have any other conversions of your own Please let us know down below. I would love to see them. If you could somehow get a link sorted out with a photo gallery, I'd love to see it. Well, continuing on, I thought I would talk about my coven later now. This is what I would use to transport my glue tasks. Um, again, this is a very basic one. All I've used is some chrono spits to make put the tentacles on the front and the back. And um, by that, it's all basic uh, later bits. Um, I cut out the seals to make it look more spines. And I used the uh, C, I, I, what do you call that thing at the back? You know, like the fin at the back, I have that upside down. But bar that, it's very basic, nothing much to it. Um, you know, I like it, so I do, um, as far as coven leaders go. Um, well, it's mine, and I like it, you know. But anyway, we'll continue on here with the Catalyte Clue Board. Now, I love me. Catalyte Glueborn is uh, so much fun to use in game, but they're one of the very few units in the game that don't have like they've got their own uh, like stats and characteristic page, but they haven't been cut out from the codex. You know, like most of the HQs are got taken out whenever Seventh Edition hit. Um, now, if you play Dark Elder, you're using like you know the proper tree kin here, and the Glueborn are the truest of that kin and they don't settle for me they, you know they don't they don't settle for low power equipment here they take only the best and um, I just chose to tart them up a wee bit you know um, I did say to you earlier about the Corsair box set from the Dark Elf fantasy line which I used um, I used their keeps because okay my cabal is called the cabal of the void serpent um, and you'll find out now why in a few minutes you'll enjoy it, but we'll hold that on for later. But that's why we've got the uh, the uh, scales for the cape. I, I've seen quite a few people using uh, wood elf uh, capes instead. They look just as well, but for me, it's more lure friendly for me to be using them. They're scaly sort of dragon hide capes. I quite enjoy them now. Um, I've seen some other people using very similar types of conversions to this. Again, it's a very basic one. All you got to do is cut a fair bit off the back of that cape and cut a fair bit off the back of the Catalyte Warrior's actual back and then it goes right on. There's not much to it. Very basic, very easy. Um, another thing that you will have noticed is, do you see the blaster that one of them is holding? I've actually cut one of the, uh, all I've done there is get a blast pistol and cut the splint rifle in half near enough and put the blaster's um, nozzle on the top and that's it. Um, easy, quick way of getting yourself more blasters because you can never have enough of them. And now, continuing on with the Corsair conversions. Now, the Corsair box is pretty actually pretty good. You can use a lot of stuff, more than what you would think. Like, for instance, see these here, the void uh, the void leaving flock. Uh, okay, they did get nerfed there, but they're still pretty fucking good, and I would say definitely worth taking for the meantime. But, as you know, Games Workshop sell one of them for £15, and you want a lot of them. You're, you're going to try and take as many of these as you can. Even with the nerf, I still think it's a lot of fun and worth taking. But anyway, let's get into the conversion. So, as you can see on the left-hand side, that is actually... A bit of a crossbow from the uh, Dark Elf Corsair box set. Um, at jet, that's all it is, with a bit of wire attached to it, and goes down to the base. I'm not even joking. Painted up. Um, some of them I've got like hooks and crooks to them, which are again I've just taken from the Dark Elf box, uh, the Dark, uh, the Dark Elf Corsair box set. Um, the only one that's actually any different there is the two Wargraves been put together from the uh, Hellion box set 
and that is about it. Like you know, you put two or th uh, put three, maybe four, on a base, and you've got yourself a laser wing flock. Uh, you, I didn't think I had like you know when I first read the stats for the laser wing flock, I was like, fuck, I wanna, I wanna get me a few of these fucking six attacks each. You know what I mean? And they cost nothing. I was like, what? I need me some of these. But uh, sadly, they're not the easiest to get the hands on. There's not many good alternative models, sadly, uh, for birds. There just isn't much out there. This, I think, it's cheap, it's effective, and it looks decent enough. It doesn't look amazing by any means, but it looks okay, you know? It's not too bad. It's it's acceptable, you know. Um, if you have anything better, please let me know because I've got a good few of these sitting about, but I want to I wanna make as many of these as I can. And I, I quite like, you know, when putting them together on the wires. I really enjoyed making these ones. Particularly enjoyed making these ones if I do say so myself. Now we have the Master of Breeds himself, Drizar. No idea why he's still in production, that old model, the 1980s style, like, you know... I can't even describe the pose that he's got. I don't understand it myself. If you like the old, uh, the old dark elf models, that's up to you. I personally do not like them at all, bar one or two models. Bar uh, after that, I think they all look disgusting. But anyway, anyway. So uh, as you can see with the Gazar, I've just used an incubi body with two arms from the dark elf corsair box set. That I I can't get on. I can't go on how much that box set is worth picking up it really is even just to have bits knocking about um it's really interchangeable honest to god if you're thinking about buying a box get it it's worth it just for the bits alone even if you you know you'd be really surprised how much works well and okay looking at the model yeah it was all right. he's using swords instead of his greaves but the greaves i just i can't find anything that looks as good, like, you know, for two hands, like, well, for one in each hand, because, like, you know, it's all two-handed, and I don't want him just to look like any old incubi, do you? You know what I mean? You want to give him that wee bit more, and this is, sadly, the closest I can get that is cheap, simple, and yet effective. You know, that's what, uh, if you haven't noticed that so far, I like cheap, simple, and effective conversions to really add that bit to your army. Um, I'm not, I, I don't really like spending tons and tons of money on conversions when I don't have to. I like to keep it cheap, simple, and to the point. And this conversion, I think, sums that up nicely. Now, um, I said, uh, to go uh, to, sorry, to go back on my last point about cheap, effective, and to the point, I've done anything but that when it comes to this conversion. And this conversion for me is something a bit special. Um, as you can see, it's, it looks like a Venom, essentially. It's a leader been cut in half with a Viper. And it does, I think, I think it looks quite good. But it's more about who's on it. Yes, you've guessed it. It is my Archon, Sulla himself. Now, look, if your Archon isn't traveling in style, you've made a horrible mistake somewhere along the lines. Like, we're playing Dark Galdor here. Our Archons do not settle for subpar fucking transport. You want to put him in a normal Venom? Nah, mate. You want to put him in a normal Leader? Nah, mate. You give him the high life, you know what I mean? That's what he is. He deserves a high life, and that's what he does, you know? Otherwise, what is he? Some dirty fucking test you mongoloid? Normal? Like, fucking normie? Fucking faggot? You know what I mean? This is a fucking Archon you're talking about. Give him his own rightful, um, rightful, uh, sorry, transport that he deserves. Um, now, as you can see here, for the conversion, I have... Well, he actually comes off, and I'll show you here in a wee second that he he can pop off the uh, he's on he's on a magnet on this on it, uh, and as you can see here, so um, the legs, uh, the, the chair itself. I'll start off with the chair itself. The base of it is from the actual Vect model. Same with the legs; they are both original Vect models. I don't want to tell you how much I end up having to pay for it, but I got it, I got it cheaper than what you would expect. So I will move on. As you can see, the, um, well, I'm not going to say right or left because I, fuck, it's, I'm not going to be bothered with it. But one of the arms is the old Archon uh, 
uh, soul burst. Oh, I can't even remember what it does now. It's um, remember that soul burst weapon you can upgrade them with. I d uh, you can't get it at the minute, but like, wait till the codex comes out. And then the other arm is just a leader's arm where you can like you know he's holding the end of the chair. I think it works very well. Um, the chest is just a, from a standard Catalyte Warrior box set, and the head is of course from an Incubi. Um, I think it looks very good, it's very up to date, it looks very similar to what the old model did look like, and I think it really does add a lot of character to your army. Now, of course, he doesn't have any lulls or any stats, but why not, like, you know, if you bring in an Archon and a Venom, why not bring them? You know, and um, I see no reason in not doing it, you know, and I think it looks great, to be honest with you. The chair, like, you know, I, it, oof, to me, I think, ah, uh, I love it. Can't really put it into words. Uh, and as you can see at the back, it has just been used. I've just used laser, um, sorry, not laser wing. Uh, jet bikes, I've just used jet bike bits. All jet bike bikes knocking about uh, to make his throne. Honest to God, if you do, if your Arch Archon doesn't have a throat, no, I'm being serious. Get it sorted out. They get it sorted out. I, I, I've, I don't really want to get into more detail about it, but look, come on here. Come on. You know, I don't know. That's just me, though. Now, here you can see this is my Archon on foot. Uh, very basic look. It's just the old Archon model with a... Um, Incubi head and one of the Impulers from the Witch Cult box set. Um, that's it. Very basic. Uh, I like to keep it simple. I really like the Impulers, to be honest with you. It's very different. Um, I'm not a big fan of everyone, every single person in the army having agonizers or you know, so power swords. You want to change it up a wee bit, and I think using the Corsair box set weapons and the Witch Cult weapons on more units, I think it looks good. Like, you know, look. People, like, the thing is, not many people know Dark Eldar weapons and stats and all that anyway. So, like, you know, if you're not using the exact weapon, I don't think it matters that much, to be honest with you. Not to me, anyway. As you can see here, this is my, well, he's a long-gone HQ now, but it's the Duke. You know, that there, remember that blood, uh, sorry, not blood, the drug prince. Sadly, he's gone now, but... This is my conversion for him. Again, I'm sorry. I keep bringing it up, but honest to God, that fucking Corsair box set is worth its money. Pick it up, I'm telling you. The head looks like it's got very piracy to me, exactly like the Duke. You want that there. You have two swords, and look, that's about it. And then all I've done is put a wee flag on his back. Again, so basic. It's basic stuff. Keep basic, simple, elegant. And that's the only way you can do it when it comes to conversions. For me, anyway. For me. But anyway, moving on, we have... Uh, we have a succubus. Now, this succubus, you might recognise it's actually from the Colton of Blood Block set on the Dark Elf line. Again, I'm talking about Dark Elves. But look, they're fucking great. Now, check out the, check out the boxes. Honest to God, I've seen so many people interchanging uh, Dark Elf models, it's unreal, definitely worth checking out. But anyway, um, as you can see, it's very basic, all I've done is pretty much cut the head off, put a witch's head on, and put a wee splinter rifle on the back, and I use her from time to time as my um, succubus, I really enjoy, I I would use succubus a lot, I really enjoy them, um, I use them with a few grotesques, now that's not the best advice, but I like it, you know? <laughs> Sorry to say, but, you know, I'm not very good. But I I always get fun results that are worth 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 putting them in. But anyway, we'll move on here to the basic Catalyte Warriors Sergeants. Now, as you can see here, I've just used some uh, some Dark Elf bits. Just to tart them up again, you know. Um, I really love the flag bar. Um, it's not something you normally see when it comes to Dark Eldar. And I really enjoy it. Um, if uh, just in case you know, my uh, cabal is called the Cabal of the Void Serpent, and I've actually stolen the uh, water uh, the water de decal from the Void Dragons. I know I am so fucking creative when it comes to names. What can I say to you? Um, but anyway, anyway, um, as you can see there, I've just used one of the spears and one of the flags, and it's just. We, like, you know, this is just another example of just using wee basic bits 
to tart up your know, average Catalyte Warriors because like you know like I'm sure like I've got about 50 Catalyte Warriors knocking about and there's only so much variety you can really put into them after like you know the first 20 or so so this is just a nice way of uh, mixing things up a bit that'll work like you know it'll, you'd be surprised it is worth it so here we have my Revenant Titan um, again, I'm sorry to say he's quite dusty on it now. He hasn't, he doesn't get out as much as what I'd like, like him to. But uh, no, um, because he's the only, like you know, big Titan that Dark Eldar can use. You know what I mean? Why have him like you know? Why have him looking like a elf? Why why have him looking like a normal Eldar? You don't want that. You want him. You don't want to turn him up, make him look a bit more evil. You know what I mean? Look like, make him look like he listens to Creed of Filth. You know. So, uh, as you can see, I've just added a wee lead, uh, one of the wee leader fins, cut that in half, threw it on the side, and it looks a bit like, you know, like a normal Catalyte Warrior, you know, they're just the wee spikes they've got on their shoulders. And then the horns that I've added to his head are just from the leader kit as well. Um, I quite like it, to be honest with you. I haven't really done much with him. That's the only um, parts of him that I've added to make more Dark Elder-ish. But I quite like it, and it's basic plain and it still keeps that overall elegant look to the Revenant which I really enjoy. So we've made it to the only Dark Eldar um, alternative model that I actually own, to be honest with you. Uh, well, not well, officially not converted at all. This here I bought from a uh, go, uh, Ghost Miniatures, I believe. I'll put the link down below in the description. You need to check it out. But of course, you remember who this guy is, don't you? Yeah, it's a fucking barn, isn't it? You know what I mean? Um, you don't see him anymore. Sadly, he's not in the Codex. Again, he's the same like jerk long gone at this stage. But I love, love the model myself. I think it looks great. Um, them there boys with good Ghost Miniatures have done an amazing job. And I personally use this model as either a Hellion Sergeant, whenever I take Hellions, or as a Beastmaster. Um, either way, it's not that expensive, about 16, 17 pound, I think, in uh, in sterling silver. So I think if you really, if you like the Juke like me and you enjoy the lore behind him, he's definitely worth picking up, honest to God. As I say, link down below in the description. Might not be in stock, because, like, you know, the guy only seems to make, like, five of them, and then five of them, like, you know, three months, and then they sell out, and then you can't just, you just can't get your hands on them. But anyway, anyway, um, again, possibly one of the best Eldar, Dark Eldar um, alternative models out there, because there really isn't much. I think the only other one I can think of is, um, there's a succubus from Wargaming Exclusive. Uh, again, links, as always, in, in the description below to um, elaborate more on it. Well, last but not least is my very own Void Serpent. Now, as you can see, um, I use a Void Serpent as my design for my Dark Elder. And, of course, how could I have... How could I possibly have a Dark Elder army called the Void Serpents without having my very own Void Serpent? You know what I mean? I gotta, you gotta self-indulge from time to time. It's very lure friendly to me anyway. There's no rules, of course, for this model. It is, again, I'm sorry to say, and I hate to bring it up, the Dark Elf Black Dragon kit. Um, it's really nice kit, really nice kit to work with. Um, I don't know how universal this is for many other um, Archons out there, you know, um, I myself, it's just because that's what my cabal is, the Void Serpents, you know, I don't know if many of you other guys could use it, but like, you know, fuck, um, the lighter on it, he works very well, like, you know, you can have either a Witch or an Archon lighting it, check out the box, honest to God, go ahead, once you finish this video, go ahead, go on the, uh, go on G, uh, G-Dub's website, check out the model yourself because it is i think it's pretty cheap as well it's only 25 pound you know that's that's more like you know for what you get and it's not bad um anyway anyway sorry for gambling but as you can see i've kind of turned it up a wee bit put a incubi head on um you know just basic bits and pieces just to, i mean i turned the lance into some form of like canon of sorts you know um it, but that's just basic things and 
for me, this model has no real purpose in the game at all. Um, it's just for my own self-indulgence. But I hope this gives you a good idea of, like, you know, think outside the box from time to time when it comes to conversions. Keep it basic, simple, and effective. But most importantly, have fun. You know, if you're not having fun, just don't, you know what I mean, um, don't bother. You know, that's my only advice for anyone. Like, you know, if you're not enjoying doing what you're doing, um, just keep with the basic models. But, like, you know, if you like converting, if you enjoy it, go for it. No point hanging about thinking, like, oh, I might do this and I might do that. And then you think, oh, no, I don't want to mess it up. No, you won't. Because I'm telling you, because I haven't. And I'm shit. So go ahead, try it yourself and see what you make of it. Well, that's it for me with this one video about Dark Eldar conversions. I hope maybe someone took something from this and, like, you know, if you go ahead, maybe do pick up one of those Dark Elf box sets that you've been looking at and, you know what I mean, play with it, see what works and see what doesn't. And if it doesn't work, fuck it, you know what I mean? May just, uh, you, at least you tried, you know, and it's always a bit of fun, like, you know, messing about. I love all that type of stuff personally. I like doing it. But, um, no. Hopefully someone took something from this and I hope to see you soon in another video. Um, I'll, I'm trying to do weekly uh, 40k videos and daily will be let's play videos. You know, um, I just don't know what, I don't really know what I'm doing here um, on this channel. I just know I enjoy making the videos and I hope, uh, I hope peep, someone enjoys watching them. You know, um, again, thank you. I'm James. This is Neckbeard Cave and I hope to see you again in another video.